I'll be honest with you, Jimmy. Start talking about kidneys and I don't really know much. I know they're vital for life, but I was shocked to hear the numbers and how many people are impacted by kidney disease. Uh, and that's why we are grateful to have the opportunity to educate and inspire action to end kidney disease. With us this afternoon, we would like to introduce to you the Associate Executive Director of the National Kidney Foundation. This is Nicole Scharf there on your left. And right here we've got Dr. Danda Mabena Afori with the Delmarva Kidney and Hypertension Specialist. She joins us as well. Welcome ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much Thank for being you. here. So as Katie said, um, it's astonishing how many people are impacted by kidney disease. What are we talking here? A lot of people, it's it's considered a silent killer because oftentimes the symptoms just aren't there um, or you have symptoms that could be a lot of other things. But about 37 million Americans across the country are affected by kidney disease. Wow. Most don't even know that they have it. Wow. Yeah. And does it continue to get worse? It can continue to get worse. There are some things that you can do to slow the, progress the progression of kidney disease, um, diet, exercise, nutrition, those types of things. But yes, um, kidney disease will get worse over time, oftentimes um, ending in you need dialysis or a transplant. So big picture numbers, are they getting any better? They are not getting any better, no. The numbers continue to climb. And, and most of the time, it's people that could have done things had they known a lot sooner right. about their kidney disease. Wow. So, so how do we know sooner? What, what do we do to find out? So that's where we work together with our primary care. They'll do blood work, simple blood work and wow. urine test um, that they can check to see how well your kidneys are working. And one of those blood work is called creatinine and EGFR. And also you check the urine for protein in the urine to make sure that you're not spilling any protein in the urine. And those are the two simple tests that you can do to get checked. You should start out with primary care or other specialists, and then usually they'll refer to us to follow up with them. So if, if we think maybe there's something going on with us now, are there any symptoms that we can look for? So at early stages of uh, chronic kidney disease, you don't have any symptoms. Uh, usually it's as it gets later towards uh, end of kidney failure that people have symptoms because you have to understand what the kidney does. Uh, one of those functions, for example, it helps filter out wa extra water out of our body. If the kidneys are not working, you're gonna have leg swelling or difficulty breathing because you're filling up a fluid. Uh, also kidneys does help with uh, building up uh, blood counts. Uh, so if your kidneys are not working, you're gonna have things like anemia where you're having feeling more and more tired and fatigue. So when you have those symptoms, usually it's a little bit later. Our goal is to catch you early mm -hmm. so we can prevent or delay any further progression. Wow. Do we take our kidneys for granted, maybe? I think most of us we do. I, um, I can say that for myself as well. I think I can do a little bit more by drinking every day water, mm -hmm. and preferably, obviously, uh, less sodas, less coffee, uh, you know, just staying well hydrated, and you know, things like fast food when we eat there, try to make healthy choices. Mm -hmm. Low salt diet is better than, you know, in a high salt diet because the salt, you tend to hold onto fluid and it raises the blood pressure up. So things like that, I think we can do on an everyday basis. We all are to blame. If you ask today, how much water did you drink today? Like I'll say, maybe I had one glass, maybe I could have more. You know? yeah. So It seems counterintuitive, but to drink more water, water. is Ex good. Exactly, exactly, because it keeps you hydrated, because dehydration by itself, even if you didn't have any risk factors, can also affect how well the kidneys are doing. Yeah. So what, what does the foundation do? How, what, what role does the foundation play in all of this? So the National Kidney Foundation, the role that we play is to educate the public and our medical professionals also. So we do a lot of programs. We do renal rounds to um, educate our medical professionals. We run seminars. Uh, one is called the Big Ask, Big Give, which teaches people how to look for a living kidney donor if they need a transplant. Um, I donated my kidney two years ago to um, a stranger. There are 100,000 people waiting on the kidney transplant list, and um, the wait times can be very, very long if you don't have a living donor, if you're waiting for a deceased donor. Because we can live fine with You can live one. fine with one kidney. Yeah, I okay. feel the best I've ever felt in my life after donating my kidney. I'm a little more cognizant of what I put in my body sure. and not taking, you know, stay away from the NSAIDs. If you have a headache, take Tylenol. Right. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a little more cognizant of things like that, and I do try to drink a little more water, but I feel fantastic. Um, it, I don't want to make it seem easy, but it right. was it was easy. Yeah. The surgery wasn't bad. The recovery was good. But we run programs like that to teach people um, about living donation. 
We also do several events to fundraise, um, to fund programs like our patient emergency assistance program, which helps people with various things, getting them to and from dialysis, helping with hardships if they fall behind on their rent or their utilities, mm -hmm. helping to pay for groceries. Um, dialysis is very debilitating. It interrupts your entire life. Um, you know, you spend at minimum about four hours three times a week on dialysis wow. so you can imagine fitting that into your day yeah. um, so we try to help in any way that we can in that regard also and so one of those events is the walk coming yes. up right yes. yes unfortunately we're virtual but we're making it work mm -hmm. we're gonna look to go back live in the spring mm -hmm. hopefully but um, we have a lot of our teams and our top walkers and our sponsors Delmarva kidney and hypertension is one of our sponsors as is WBOC so thank you for that um, raising just much needed awareness and funds for kidney patients all across the country but right here in Salisbury our walk is going to take place um, on Sunday the 24th um, typically we hold it at Winter Place Park which we hope to get back to next year, but it's virtual online on our website for this year. Wow. Can't get much better than that, but we need your help, yeah. please. Thank you so much to Nicole Scharf as well as Dr. Ndanda. I'm going to try it. Dr. <laughs> Ndanda Mabana Ofori. Okay, good job. Was All that right. close at least? It was very close. <laughs> okay, <laughs> That's sorry. A, you, put, you put a stress on an N. Oh, don't do just, that. Just uh, soft Dr. N. Here's Dunda the deal. Dunda. Yes. Here's how you can make it up to work. Drink right. a glass of water. There you go. Hey! <laughs> Problem solved. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank you. Thank you for having us.